see the immediate weakness on that B side of the map right now. If Liquid discover that, if they find out that there is really no one here, that is going to be a huge issue. Oh, oh my god, well, that's a way to get the final started. Naf opening up the bidding and he's going to go for more, taking down Ariel. That is just Naf sniping away. And the power of that upgraded pistol on the T side once again showing itself. And, and Entz hasn't even been able to use the strength of this setup. They haven't even been able to get the numbers involved. There's X7, and coming up, that's two kills for him, and we're evened out so quickly. But they're gonna get aggressive. He somehow finds a third. And now Liquid, they've got to fight out of this. Elise with one more kill, and he's got the bomb. He can go towards the eight bomb site. They have a smoke as well, which means if they go for that fast, he's gonna have to respond in some fashion. And uh, checking out the main part of it. They've pretty much cleared the bomb site by now. There's the smoke. They're gonna hold it down. They don't have a kit, so it's gonna be a really long defuse inside of it. Leash playing it carefully. He's trying to guess the angle. They're a couple of seconds away inside of the smoke. And it will oh. be all right at the last second, but it is not enough. They get the bomb down and they buy immediately in the next round. Ents are pushing them there. Just doubling up with the aggression. Alu gonna pick up one good kill, but the UMP falls. And the MP7 does no better. Twist with some great deagle shots and Nitro. The long range with that Krieg. Ariel has a smoke and an HE. Nitro is kind of low. He's got no armor as well. That grenade could do a lot of damage. I think that's one of the ways in which maybe they could get back into this. And Ariel's got a very good position. He's got the right idea. He peeks the corner and actually almost gets traded immediately. But Stewie's going to be happy about that. He'll just put the bomb down. They are being sandwiched, but it, again, it's going to take a while, and there are no kits picked up still on the end side, so they don't actually have time to play this game. Naf's going to catch this on the flank, though. He's going to spot it out. An easy kill for him. His first of the round, and Ariel now tasked with near impossible situation. He can drop the smoke again and try and go for it, but one more time, no kit. It's going to be such a long defuse. Stewie's got plenty of time to find the angle through the smoke. It doesn't even take that long like teetering spot early on. They're kind of riding that line where this could turn into a disaster still. That's a big kill with the USP. A stack here at the bomb site, but all the weaponry to follow <laughs> up in Elise just holds down the trigger. Liquid just waiting patiently for any kind of aggression. They've seen it a couple times down the stairs. They've seen an aggressive push towards Fountain. There's the flashbang. No one's affected. Elise is going to have a field day. Double kill with the Krieg and now starting to push up. Worthwhile attempt for um, friends to try it. Didn't pay off, and they're gonna run into Stewie. Picks up a couple of kills, easy ones there with the AK-47 and X7. He's not gonna find anything. So the op might not even be a factor in this round, depending on how Liquid plays this. Oh, you're right. 30 seconds. Oh, this could be great, though. Oh, the boost. They just catch Liege. A couple of more seconds, and he would have been behind the wall, and that would have been beautiful. Now, the long flank of that push is gone, and the rest are going to be pushing up from from the uh, bathrooms here. 15 seconds on the clock, and they're actually running into a bit of a crossfire situation. They will get the return. Nitro, very good second kill. That buys them much more of a chance here. Two on two for the afterplant. Nitro's got a chance for the ace. He's got three kills. Tough part for Ents now. They have no smoke to block off the bomb, and the AWP... A bit unwieldy in these retakes, but it might be able to cover a diffuser. Bit of a jump, trying to look over. He just wants to find one person. They do have diffuse kits, but now they don't have a smoke. It's kind of tragic because they need both right here, or it's going to get tricky. He misses a shot, and now Twist hiding around the corner. Here's the shot. Alu still picking it up, but Nitro sneaking in a kill. And that was the fourth one on the board, and Alu's just going to hold it down all the way through. And there's the ace picking it up. Three on three now. Very limited with the weapons on ends. Oh, he actually hit that shot, didn't he? Ariel, oh, a little bit of a shot there. And oh, he's going to burn it right at the end. But X7 still goes down. The last defender on the bomb side. I can't believe he hit that running shot. That looked very weird. Alu now going to be in a one versus two. And he has got a little bit of armor and that AK-47, but he just wasn't ready for it. Nitro. Liquid is just unbelievable at the moment. Stewie, Nitro, Twist. And Elise gonna take control very fast. That's a timely pop flash. So blind was Ariel, but the defense recovers. They're fighting in a Molotov, and now Alexi B can find some safety. Bomb is down inside the site. And Liquid again gonna have to recover from a man down situation. Alexi is burning, and he just barely lives. Alu's rotated around, though. He's gonna join up with his teammates, and that might be confusing, because Liquid still thinks there's gonna be one player coming from Graffiti. Yeah, you can tell they're checking for it. You're absolutely right, Neff, though. Took down Alexi B. Now Nitro at the corner, and he's going to peek perfectly, taking down Alua. Two on three. 
Now we've got a good deagle shot to open up. That was Sergey, just a single click and Lee's trying to get around the corner. He's going to pick it up and he immediately pre predicts the follow-up. Twist's going to be close and I think that was Alexi B completely flashed and the follow-up from Twist is so good. A very, very fast triple for him at all. 20 seconds left and Liquid make their entrance. Naf showing himself first and missing a little bit of an opportunity there. X7 going to be falling back and they're just trying to buy time, but Naf won't let them. He's going to take down one and surely they'll try and follow up. There's Ariel going down and Sergei <laughs> to fall last. It, they are just playing this. Yeah, that's a really good pickup. This is a scout and not an AWP. Elige still pretty low on health and Nitro will get the instant return. Going to be picking up an AK-47 instead, getting close to the bomb side. And look at Nav watching their flank. That means they know where the defenders are. They're somewhere on the site and it's going to be a quick clean up here. 13 to 1. And Elige sniping away out here. They're just not afraid to take any of these fights. They're just fighting on their own, trying to make it happen. Nitro close range, but a lot of targets in front of him. Nav falling back around the corner, but not quick enough. They're going to pick up the bomb once again, and now heading straight to the bomb side. No breaks on this end strain. They are gunning for it. And over at long, Alu will pick up two amazing kills with that USP. Straight headshots. And that will be Stewie in a one versus three. And partially helped by the fact that Nitro's so forward on the map elsewhere. Alu, good opening, but a decent return as well. And even with the trade there on Stewie, it is a 2-1-2, two -two, but actually, Nitro is very quick with the rotation. He's here almost immediately. And, and they've got to be careful. Alexei B has the bomb, and he's actually very, very far exposed. He was very far up. He'll take that challenge, but not the way that they were expecting. He's right there, he can see the feet, the spray connects, and he's gonna take down an XCB. Almost ready for the follow-up, but still, now this is a problem though. 30 seconds left. Obviously, the weapon hugely favors X7, but how much of this bombsite can he check before he finds Nitro? Hiding back here with the USP. 24 seconds on the clock, and he's gonna go oh! for it. Nitro! Consecutive headshots to take down X7. Man. Ents are gonna have such a conversation between map one and two here. As Liquid have looked, I don't know, stronger than any team I've seen for just a very, very long time. Ariel gonna be taking down Nitro, and that is the last one that they're gonna get. Alan will go down, and map number one will go in favor of Team Liquid here. And they're gonna blow open that door very quickly, flashing their way through, and it's gonna be very quick, running into the hot, in fact, Nitro! And they do swap it out, they go back to ramp instead. That's a very good switch here for Ents. Yeah, but they're already rotating downstairs, there's a chance that... Liquid can put a stop to this, Twist is up first, closes the door behind him is the issue. Headshot onto Alexi, spins around again, and the door saves his life, but... It's so confusing, opening and closing, and Nap now, in a retreating battle, is dropped. Nitro. Do they know he's here? Oh, now they have the information. Ariel's got a triple kill in this round, and Ents have the advantage. He's the only one here that could defend, and that's not gonna happen. Ariel instead with a triple. That is a great round out of Ents. That scout, if he connects one or two more times, that really does make a big difference. Not gonna be this time. There's one headshot. Nav to follow it up with XCB. He was already low on health from that scout. A great trade here, favoring the liquid side. And now you could tell Ents a little bit worried. They're going to be around the corner, but it's not enough firepower here. Ariel, the only one left in a one versus two. Going to go for the fight, and he gets shot down. Another second round. And Liquid will probably enjoy that, especially if they've got those two MP9s. One of them on Stewie with the grenade. They can't really get close enough. They don't have armor. That's a nice jump. What a great bunny hop to be able to essentially screw that up a little bit. Elish will take it, though, with the AK. No AWP early on. Don't really have to do that on Nuke. Nice position from Sergey. Nitro with a follow and he's gonna make it a double. How does that keep happening? That hut position close with the SMG. Oh, but once snuck out, and, uh, and Nitro jumps for the information. Alu's got the kill. Four HP and Nitro, he can't follow it up. Flashbang comes out. I think it was a little bit late. Still, he does find the equalizer and Alu has to let his teammate basically do the work. He's trapped in this corner. There is not a whole lot of places he can go, so X7 is going to be called upon here. Oh, actually, Alu going for it. Yeah, he knew he didn't, couldn't really wait for that. X7 spots out one. They know Stewie's got the AWP, and they can probably guess that it has to start earlier here on Nuke. This has to be a different story. X7, quick with the bomb plant. No hesitation at all. And Stewie thought about maybe running for it, but... 
changed his mind. Now let's see what this Kree could... Oh, he's gonna get shot in the back. He's out in the open there. I don't think he had any idea how long they were gonna be there for. Ents have yet in this Grand Finals to feel happy about anything. Naf gonna get the opening pick, the AWP, in towards the door. Another man advantage for Liquid. And look at the way, I mean, Elise is just waiting under the cover of that smoke. Gonna go for the follow-up, he's got both kills. Just styling on Ents. There's no one pushing him from behind, which you definitely can do, but he's very safe to just stick around and doesn't really have to fight it. They almost get him there, but Naf playing point blank range with the AWP and he is going to be going down finally. It is a three on three. They're going to have to go and recover the bomb, shooting through the smoke and it's an even trade. Nitro down to two health though. Oh, and the grenade catching him. That's a nice job. Yeah, but the final boss is up now and Elish as the smoke clears. He didn't spot Alexi Bia. There it is, Ents. He's just had that gap shot and then he can fall back very quickly. X7, great timing on when the smoke pops. That could have been lethal if you were down there waiting and you don't think anyone's gonna show up. Elise though, spotting a bunch of people outside and now there's a secondary issue or concern here and it's the clock. 35 seconds, they get the one kill but look who's gatekeeping up here. Elise, no entry up this ladder and where did they go? With 30 seconds now, Nitro gonna be getting a kill. I think they were really banking on that end. They wanted to get to wrap around the back. They needed more time as well. Alu gonna pick up one shot here, but again, the bomb is still back there. Ariel gonna get a kill on the and jumping down. Twist! Falling right off the rafters, and now it's all on Ariel. Ten seconds, and he's gonna go for the spray. He's got two health left, and if he misses the fall, he'd die, but he does get it there right around the corner. Oh, and Marcellus nice. taking down the last player with a knife is Nitro. This is... Gonna try and go fast. He's actually gonna go right through this. And actually, he's gotten out. Twist has no idea. Somehow, he's made it into the site, and they still don't know. Twist now checking, but it's too late. He's passed. Ariel has created an opening into the bomb site, but it's still a man down his ends. What a heroic play from Ariel. They, they could have maybe converted a lot more on that. The grenade will take him down. Stewie bouncing it off the wall. It was miles away as well. And now it's on Alu. One versus three. And I mean, there are so many positions to check. The grenade on top of him as well, and Stewie. Yeah, they're making that call. Exactly what you just said. Deep nade. It's clipped by the wall. Flashbang in. Stewie's gonna be blind. He somehow, somehow gets the first one. It looked like he was gonna be on point to transfer over. That is information, and Ence is still a long way from that lower bomb site. Liquid can rotate people downstairs. They already have Nitro, and Elise is here as well. Oh, he's playing with them. Lining it up. Nitro with a beautiful triple. He was, he was just dancing at that point in time, wasn't he? Hot flash to set it up. Are they gonna be able to be out in time? No flash here for Twist, and they are right underneath, and he is just raining down. Death from above! And it's gonna be a little bit of a chance there. Could have maybe been the ace. Build up that scoreline in X7, trying to work his way around these smokes, and Naf's got him. I think he just spammed through. That's a blind shot as well. What an amazing performance this is. Twist to take care of every single player coming out of the hut. But will it be enough? We're gonna find out now. 25 seconds on the clock. He's moving, he's maneuvering, he really wants to do this. Not gonna check the corner and Elish will take him down. And now the push coming into the A side. Twist still up here and the defense is rock solid. That will be 13 to two. That would be an incredible story if they were able to find uh, a way back into this game. The straight rush hut is, or the hut rush is out, and oh, knife in the middle of it. I think that might have been a bit of a mistake. Stewie gonna be taking down Ariel, and they're going for a very quick bomb plant here. They haven't won any pistol rounds so far, but they will win this one. But this is Liquid, everyone just being unleashed. No one has any restrictions individually. Sergey surely not gonna get away. Nitro gonna keep him pinned down, but he does find an exit. It's a small victory, and not one that's gonna last for long. Nap right through the smoke. Alexi B on top. He does win that. It was costly. He's dinked down to 2 HP. A uh, very slim chance here. Alexi B, I think, just trying to hide inside of the smoke. Oh, nice shot from Alu. Headshot. Great follow-up. Nitro gets the one kill. Alexi right behind him, and it's gonna be another round for Enza. a third one. Auto shotgun on Stewie. Let's see if that's gonna work. That's a lot of noise, and Stewie is there to pick it up. He's ready for the second long range, and it's going to be a headshot. They're going to win another one. Yeah, They're just win another one with pistols. Them. Oh, you're right as well. And there <laughs> it is, long range, 16 to 3 in map number one.
utter dominance here for Team Liquid in the Grand Finals. They're going to be playing on the T side. They've got a couple of flashbangs to set it up. I'm guessing once they throw those grenades, they are not going to stop. Stewie around the corner. There's a smoke to block off the pit a little bit. He's jumping into the site, looking for any kills and looking for an opening. And he's actually going to be missing a little bit of a shot there, but the follow-up is perfect. Down in the pit is Alu, the only one that could save this site right now from Liquid. Already with the bomb plant and every single member stuck on the site, that USP not connecting at the moment, and they needed it too. Now it's on Alu, and they're coming for him. Nap will take him down. Yeah, I mean... And if they'll even ever have the money to bring the off out, it's gonna take a lot of saving. This is gonna be fast-paced, a lot of aggression. Stewie with the Mac-10, he's got the first and the second! A follow-up headshot. Alu holding into the bomb site. They're gonna challenge. They're gonna challenge repeatedly, and eventually Elise will take him down. A two-on-two -two into the bomb site, and plenty of time for Liquid to set up. And even though they end up challenging one at a time there, Liquid, that actually still is worth it for them. They get the bomb site, they get the bomb plant down. They now have an AK-47 and an M4, and looking to wrap around as Sergei gets a big opening, taking down Elysia, and they follow it up. Great play for Enz. That's a huge retake. You are sexy. You know what? You're looking it's great, you're sounding great, you're feeling great. Everything's good. Twist. Thank you so much, my dude. I appreciate it. <laughs> Twist is going to get taken down through the smoke. Finally, some assertiveness from Ents, and they get their second round of the CT side. Two to five. Nitro and Stewie close up towards mid. They already took bracket control, and they're just going to march right back up with the confidence they've cleared this out already. Stewie turning the corner. There's a blind Alu out in the open. That is a big kill. And now they can wrap around the site, but here's that advanced position. Alexi B coming in for the flank. He can backstab. He's got the first, and but Alige, that's a big headshot to save the day. Can't follow it up. And Sergey's still alive. The bomb has dropped back in towards mid, so Liquid's going to have to come back for it. Yeah, this is a very, very awkward round for Liquid, but they've somehow managed to make it a two-on-two, -two, regardless of all of that. X7 down in the middle. Now he's got position on the bomb, and Ariel is here with a bit of a crossfire. This should be a very good defensive setup. The Molotov, though, gonna break part of it, and Ariel goes down. And now it's all on X7. 20 seconds, they know where he is. They're gonna come looking for him. He gets the one, he gets the follow-up as well. Great play from X7. 30 seconds, really not a lot of time for the American side. Let's see if they can find a way through. The wall goes up towards the pit, and that means it's gonna be a little bit more tricky to get out. Elise with two big entries, and Sergey goes down. They just crack open that A-bomb side like it was nothing. 35 seconds here. X7 is just listening right now, and when the grenade goes out, I'm sure he's gonna be calling it in. Sergey coming from one angle, Alu flanking around down from Banana instead, and X7 has got a great position to shut this down. He fakes it out, Nap gets one. Oh no, what a follow-up! Stewie to take down X7, and the bomb is going to be planted. And now it's all on Alu, the lack of armor. He's already got the double. They're going to need to get the quad kill here. He has no kit either, and he's sneaking onto the site. He sees a free kill, taking down Naf, and Stewie turning around. A big double. Naf going to be looking towards top banana, and the flick through the wall does nothing, and some really good counter grenades coming out. That is a nice way to set up the beginning of a round here. It's, for probably, it's probably the most convincing control that Enz has had at the early stages of Banana. Now the push down from X7, that's a big kill. He's gonna hold the spray through the smoke. He's found a liege as well. Surely this is Enz's round. A five on three. Still alive and still gonna lead the way in towards Banana. Nitro's down, so it has to actually be the Canadians. It's the two left. What can they provide this Chicago crowd at seven? is gonna get taken out. Twist gonna continue forward. 10 seconds on the clock, Liquid can't slow down. Nav with the AWP waiting for the cross smoke. Six seconds, five seconds. He's gonna have to stick the plan. He missed the jump, I don't even think it's possible. But it's been quite the half for Liquid. 10 to five, quite the grand finals. And now they're switching over to the CT side, which should be the easier side on Inferno. And this could be the last half of Counter-Strike that Chicago sees in 2019. Opening kill for Elise, Twist as well. And Liquid is just gonna keep fighting. Ooh. That's a nice shot from X7. He, he really seems to have found some sort of resurgence very late here in this finals to try and bring it back to his hiding in Graveyard. And he's gonna put them right in the ground! Oh my god, what a beautiful quad kill at the end! Oh, through the smoke, that, that actually did a fair bit of damage. Some would probably say they've had too much fun already. 
bit of damage as well as Sergei will take down Nitro. Let's see if they've overstepped the line or if they can bring it back here in spite of all the madness in this round. Liquid going for the retake and now it's all going to be down to Elise. MP9 and he's going to hit the headshot running a triple. Philosopher Mick Jagger said that one. Elise, Elise watching for this cross. He's got the first kill, the follow up aerial. He just crouches right into the fight. It's true in a corner. This is a long range for the MP9. Yeah, not surprising that he loses that eight seconds. And if they had taken that fight a little bit longer with Twist, that could have been ugly, but they'll get the bomb plant down and ends with the... And they, are they going to flash and just go for it? Here's one smoke on the other side, the flashbang, Twist. Half blind, can't see much. Nitro and Elise, but what a great return. Serga in X7 doing a lot, and Alu coming in from the other side to pick up that kill. That was huge up in the apartments. And that means Stewie and Nap are gonna have to fall back nine rounds now on the board for Enz. They flash, they throw a smoke at their own, he's surely gonna challenge it. Already taking down Alexi B, but there might be more to come. They're actually gonna be forced back, they don't wanna stay here. Now the spray almost taking down Sergei, but they're running into a liege and twist. There's only 20 seconds, this could be an absolute disaster here for Enz around the corner. Elise shutting down the first, saving a couple of bullets as well, and the Deagle down in the pit. Ariel is out, oh. and the bomb is dropped! They win the round of Gauntlet's Liquid! Naf alone defending yet again with the M4. Nice flashbang, setting up the first one. There are two around the corner, and he's gonna pick up one more. Not bad at all for uh, being a sole defender, and they don't know if there's a third player there, and they don't want to risk it. Yeah, but Liquid just started rotating. Elise is actually committed towards the B-bomb site. He hasn't turned around just yet. Nitro is trying to pass along that there's no information. Now he turns. It's Twist again, much like Pistol Round in Graveyard, ready to go. He's a one-on-three at this bomb site. He did a fantastic job. He's going to be standing up. Somehow that's a headshot. I can't explain it. He goes for more. He's still alive, doing damage and almost taking down X7. They want to get him so badly. He gets one more. What a play. And now Ariel, 25 seconds, and they are already right on top of him. Liquid going to steal the round away. Alexi B moving closer as the smoke fades in front of him. About 45 seconds now and looks like they want to try and wrap this bomb site. And to do that, they have to get rid of Nitro at this corner. That's very important, whether they go left or right here. They're going to run into that AWP one way or another. And actually, they're very close. Nitro might not be realizing. Actually, he does scoped up and taking down Sergei. That's a big move to begin the whole thing. We're turning around and shutting down another one. He's finally going to fall, but that might have been too much to handle. 20 seconds now, and Elise just at the edge, spraying to the smoke and winning the fight. And now with 15 seconds, at least there's going to be a bomb plant here for Alu. He's already got the triple. Hiding inside of the bomb site with the AWP and Stewie's coming in from the library. He's very patient right now. He's got no more grenades, but he does have a kit and he's hoping, gambling on the idea that Alu might make a mistake. But he is sitting very still on the bomb site. Stewie now creeping in, slowly crouching with that M4. Oh, does he see him? I think he might have now. A shot rings up, but Alu with the quad kill instead. That's a beautiful save and a big round here. Very low on the grenades now for Liquid, but again, there's only 30 seconds left, so Enz, got to be careful about that clock. You don't want it running down. Nitro, he's got the angle and guts the shot as well, back around the corner before anybody could catch him. And now, now they're in trouble. 15 seconds on this timer. They need to get in here. Nitro shutting down one more before he's finally put to rest. A twist is waiting down at the pit. The bomb has been dropped for a minute. He gets one kill and it's all on Sergei, and he's got absolutely no chance. That is going to be tournament point for Liquid. And down the middle, Elige. Has he lost his mind? Oh, surely He's not. going to be pushing down with the AK-47. They're not at all ready for it. They didn't even check it, but Twist is going to have the info called in. This might be the huge play. Twist goes down, but Elige is still here. Stuck up behind them. A really quick kill. He's not sure if there's anybody else on Banana. But now, the map has been oddly split down the middle and they're gonna find the leash as well composed play here but nap is fighting they're just trading left and right this could go anywhere i don't think anyone knows what's happening any longer i think that might be a mistake on the liquid side of things they were really overextended and really dedicated to getting a out of there alive they threw way too many bodies at a situation where ali should have just been left to his own devices well stewie's made the right call he's close actually he's falling back a little bit 
That would leave it on Nitro. How do you hold the apartments with an AWP down on the A-bomb side? That seems absolutely impossible. Jumping out. Oh, he's gonna snipe away one. And now they're in the pit as well. He misses the follow-up. 25 seconds. He goes for another one. Nitro on the bomb side. And this is incredible. 20 seconds in a one versus one. X7 fighting now to try and get into that overtime and Stewie. He's got the knife out. He's not even afraid, is he? Walking around the back. This is absolutely perfect. He's got the perfect angle. X7 on the other side, and he goes down! Ladies and gentlemen, it's Team Liquid, your Intel Extreme Master Chicago champions. What a marvelous performance. Well, they've done it again. They've been so dominant this year. Finally tested on Inferno. What an incredible show from Liquid. They have become hands down. Nobody can doubt it. The best team in the world. They show no signs of slowing. I don't know if anybody could have stopped Liquid on a day like this. The performance that he put on was outrageous. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, your champions, Team Liquid!